I am Maria Garcia de Flori. Fernando was born in 1195 in Lisbon, Portugal. At the age of 15, he entered the congregation of St. Augustine, and 10 years later, he joined the Franciscan Friars Minor, where he changed his name to Antonio. He met and lived in the time of St. Francis of Assisi. He was a great preacher in the Italian city of Padova in Italy. He wrote sermons notable for their doctrine and style, and by order of St. Francis, he taught theology to the brothers. He's recognized as a great theologian, and it is said that in his life, he gave more than 6,000 sermons. He witnessed an apparition of the baby Jesus, whom he held in his arms, which is why he is represented next to the baby Jesus. St. Anthony is one of the most popular saints of the Catholic Church and is recognized for his great gift of performing miracles. They call him the Holy Matchmaker because in his time the parents of girls had to give a dowry for their daughter to marry and St. Anthony of Padua helped humble girls to obtain a dowry and their wedding trousseau. Also, how he preached to the young people and they lived according to the gospel of Jesus, they became responsible, honest persons who could form good marriages and good families. In his sermons and reflections, he managed to reconcile enemies, couples to reach marriage, and couples to resolve their disagreements. A Eucharistic miracle is attributed to St. Anthony as a result of an argument with a heretic about the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. The heretic challenged Anthony to demonstrate with a miracle the real presence of Christ in the consecrated host, promising that if he succeeded, he would convert to Catholic faith. He proposed Anthony to take his mule locked in the stable for a few days without feeding him. Then he would take her to the plaza before the people, putting the food in front of the mule, and Anthony would have to put the consecrated host before the mule. On the agreed day, they took the mule to the plaza before the people, and the mule despised the food they had for him and knelt in front of the consecrated host. They call him also the saint of the poor because Anthony, in his community, worked in the kitchen and dedicated himself to giving bread to the poor. Once Anthony put the friars in trouble because he distributed all the bread they had left to eat. However, miraculously, Anthony prayed and the bas baskets were filled with bread again. For this reason, blessed bread is distributed on St. Anthony's day. St. Anthony is asked to find lost objects and that arose from a problem he had with a novice who fled the convent with his prayer book, which Anthony used to pray. When Anthony went to look for it, he couldn't find it and prayed to get it back. Suddenly, the novice was faced with a terrible and threatening apparition that forced him to return and return that what he had stolen. St. Anthony of Padua teaches us that true wealth is that of the heart and the true treasures are not on earth but in heaven. Today, we can imitate the radicalism with which Anthony lived his faith, which allowed him to exercise priestly authority with great property and defend biblical principles with great conviction thanks to his obedience to God and the gospel, because despite having died at the age of 36, he lived convinced that with God we always win.